and welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Skyblock 2. Uh, you're with Wayno, and we had some fun. Uh, patch dropped, decided to update patch um, if you watched my video, and it broke my world pretty much. So I decided to fix it. Instead of the way that other people are saying is actually getting uh, MC World Edit or something like that, um, or World Edit. You go in and you change all the IDs and stuff and fix it in the in-world stuff. But I thought, no, that's going to take several hours to do. The other way that I worked out is you clean up your entire map, remove all your add-ons or add-on machines or anything that's add-on related, put them into a chest and it works. Reloaded the map, uh, updated, reloaded the map, came in and I had tons of boxes everywhere. So uh, what I did is I started putting a lot of the stuff away so it would look like what it was before. I decided while I'm doing that I'll change a few things and so there's a few things missing the stuff over here and I moved the cactus and I opened this up because I forgot to pick up all my um, other stuff that was in here the the vertical plates but I can make them easily so that's no biggie and the uh, stuff under here I forgot to do as well but I cleaned it all out and I pretty much moved everything and started building because I was sick of it I was actually recording and already had this conversation with myself but unfortunately Minecraft locked up because I had to cheat in electric furnace because the last mod uh, the last update broke the wrenches so you couldn't actually pick it up so I had to break it with a pickaxe uh, so I had the um, the block form of it, the middle block, uh, reinforced block of what it was called, and I ended up throwing that into the void and spawning a new one. I was saving the game and ready to come back in when Minecraft locked up, and the recording software Bandicam decided to go, I don't like you, and corrupt the video. So now we're back to it. All I did was just place these over here, built this little bit here, and explain what I was going to do this episode. So nothing much has changed. I did lose all my mana, and there was a few other bits and pieces. I ended up having about oh, I, uh, three rows. I think it was about five double chest all the way along. Came all the way down here, and it was about three, two and a half rows of it, just full of all my stuff that belonged in here. So all the ingots and everything. So you could go through and know what I if I did cheat anything in but I didn't cheat anything in if you notice as textures have changed on these because I actually updated the texture pack because I hate the standard textures for pretty much any mod out there because they're 8-bit and they look like they were drawn by a three-year-old so I forgot to do the Botania one but that will be changing soon because I just don't like the 8-bit look my machine is built to handle um, uh, a lot of new texture packs so that's my plan the only one that I can't update is the uh, Tinkerers because the patch changes something in Tinkerers and it has a massive memory leak somewhere and it pretty much just stops the game from working completely so that's all I really did was just clean up the whole entire map, moved everything. I accidentally forgot to pick these up. That's why they're still out. I forgot to pick like this room, I just completely forgot. And I come back in and they're still here. So the IDs didn't change on it. So it must have been one of the mods before that this is loaded because how they do it is if you remove a mod pack and you put a new mod pack in it doesn't remove the old IDs it overwrites them or something like that when the the forge loads up I can't remember what exactly but it breaks it but they must load it up before the packs that were the IDs that were removed so I was happy um, so yeah so this will be over my farm area and I will be building that today I just want to finish off my 9x9 so Oh, fancy, it says 128 added down the bottom there. So I was testing the C, no it doesn't, bugger. So we'll head F7 so we can see some light, because I know this will have a cry. Uh, see, it won't even put it down there. So we need the diamond version, but that's okay. Because we don't really need it at the moment. So, 
Now I'll probably end up putting holes in this 9x9 to make it accessible entry all the ways or every way. So, and I will be building um, each room or each um, mod pack their own room. So I'll end up having a tech reborn room, a actual additions room, and all that as well. So the platform will eventually get nice and big, and that's in the wrong spot. So eventually it will change quite a bit. I actually didn't need to be up there anymore. So, but yes, usually in a world that isn't a skyblock, I pretty much build this straight away. So, but since it's a skyblock, all I do is just make it big platform, build on it. But eventually, I just hate rain. It's just annoying to be in. It's just rather just annoying. So I build this and then I put glass in here. I'll probably just put the standard glass in because I don't have a smeltery yet. So that's what my plan is to do is to get the farm up and working. Um, we need to finish this off because well we need power. And this is where this will be going. Um, which one did I put it? This one here. So this is the basically the, the uh, crusher and powered I probably didn't really need to have another. I could have just stuck with the uh, the this one, the powered furnace, because it's better. But I thought, you know, I'll grab it anyway. And for the crusher, I like to have my own crusher in that. So I'll eventually have another room just set up these so I can automate it so it's easier or I'll do an actual platform underneath. The other one, the thing that I do, you see, I'm already going to be annoyed with this, so. Uh, one, two, three, four. So I'll just quickly break in some holes here. I like it to be double wide, but for now I'll just do a single. I don't know why that's annoying me, but I'll just do that. So usually I have it like our doors like this, but currently I guess I could put the power, uh, the stuff up there, but that'll do. So. Um, or I could just move this to into the center of the room. Eh, it'd probably be better. Because um, if I break this, it actually will show you that I have a thing there already. So, and how am I going to get out of here? I'll nerd pole out until I get like a staff of traveling. And this is going to be interesting. Aha, I got it. Cool. So, straight across. So, this is here. So we can actually just fill this in now. It will take me a little while to actually get used to the move. So it will be no biggie. At least I won't fall off the edge. I haven't fallen off the edge. So I'm pretty sure I haven't fallen off the edge. I can't remember. I know I've died by mobs. But uh, yeah, mobs. Hooray. Uh, so this will be here. So this one. There we go. Look at that. Straight out. Okay, so as you can see, all this is gone. All the carpentry and everything is in here. So I actually need to get this reset up. So let's get this here. So yeah, I need to actually make an AA room because I'll have crusher and that in there. So I'll probably have to end up moving this. These are my plants. I only really need one chest for this. So let's just whack this up here. I like to have a backup uh, chest for these, so I need to do a lot of stuff today, so I'll get around it, well not today, but now, uh, I'll put this back over here, um, actually I might not do the farm today, I might just repair the all the stuff that I was going to do today, or the fix the stuff from the move, uh, I'll put the, um, do the farm and stuff later, because currently, oh, I need to find them, don't I? I need to find the spikes. I don't even know where I put them, because I was just in such a haste to fix everything. I just whacked them into chests everywhere. Um, actually, I think it's in the chest over here. I think 
think I put them in here. Yeah, I did. So, and I'll put this back down. Because everything was broken, like, massively. I was not happy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I did bad. I did bad. Oh, my God. So, huh. Um... I'm going to have to knock these off, which I probably won't be able to. So, this is not going to be fun for me, as I do not have a bow or arrows. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So, I do have gunpowder. Yeah, there. Um, and since I have Tinkers installed, let's see. Oh, actually, they should come out and die, because it's daytime, isn't it? Oh, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, there's one there. He wants to kill me but can't. Come on! There we go. Okay, so I learnt my lesson. Major learnt my lesson. Oh, I just realised. This will not be fun. Ah! Wayno, bad Wayno. So, I uh, didn't lose anything, just my nether brick, which I was over anyway. So. So, hopefully, I can work this out. There's a mini zombie there, which just died. And there's one there, because you just fell. Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn! Get off my lawn! Well, I need to make some rice soup. And my work just messaged me, asking me how the install's going, and I really want to be like, I am waiting for my data center to respond. But, alas, I can't because I'm entertaining you guys! Oh, I lost some of my tree! Damn it, I didn't want to do that. Oh well. I'll have to grow another one. Oh, that's right. Rice soup! Um, from memory, I actually think I had some rice soup left... well, some soup left over. I know I have rice. Actually, where's my pot. It is not here. I will grab some of that. And what do I do with my pot? Great, now I've got to go find it. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I'm blind. You're all probably sit sitting there yelling at me. That's right there, Wayno. What are you doing? And I probably had some stock left over too, so... held my button down and I need to put that in there with that to make some more rice soup and lag decided to stop I'll put my stuff back in here but the rice soup is a must and I don't actually have a sword anymore At least I've got some arrows now. <laughs> Oops. I need my, my eyes put back on. So, oh, hello. Huh. 
I have a little me on my head. Interesting. But... No. No! Uh, one. Oh, hello! I'm a girl! Oh, there we go. Wow, I really need to get a new texture pack. Oh, a skin pack. That one looks terrible. Okay, so... I need... Trash can... I really should upgrade to the hardened one so I can add more filters, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. My stupid death points. And this is all changed. Look! I was like, what? How do I know where anything is? So, I don't know if it's a skin or actually it's changed. Uh, where was my waypoints there? So, it's interesting that they've done that. They're, it's a lot more lightweight though. I noticed it runs a lot smoother. Uh, I will need one of you, one of you, and one of you. I already have. So, one, 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 and one. And then we go whitelist. And watch it. I know I should keep him, but eh. It's no big deal. So. I mean, later on you get that many of those bricks. Oh, something's starting to go jumpy. I won't need any more demon ingots unless I make a weapon out of it, but this pack you don't really need. Oh, that's right, I'll be updating because of the fluid change because the way that Minecraft works it updates every or if there's a liquid change or something in that chunk it reloads it every time it is rather annoying but that's fine I can handle that so and it is a massive massive feat for them to rewrite a simple algorithm if it was written in a proper language. I mean Java, I would say something with a B and an I and a please, but they seem to think that Java is a good language to code in. Uh, yes, it's good for some things, but for a game that is so popular and I know they keep it in their own because of oh we don't have that much it runs fine but when you have lots of people coding in it for mods and stuff and you hit a forge ID limit or a Minecraft ID limit I'm sorry then yes change language coded in C C sharp then all the other C's and stop being drunk because it is a good game but it's just poorly coded and executed and they could have changed it by now because just think how long Minecraft's been around for and they could have just fixed it a long time ago <laughs> so I'll end up starting building up or down or whatever instead of going fully out so I don't waste all my chunks but Oh, and one chunk mode. Ha! I was thinking about that. I reckon I would smash on that because you just think, you just have you F9 to show you a chunk boundary, right? You could do a house in this so easily, and all you do is you're just in one corner, or since this has got elevators, you just build elevators up and down. And you could, that's, that's like 500 and so bloody levels there. I don't know what the max is, but I know it's quite high you can build up 256 I think it is or 512 now but you could just yeah the one chunk mode everything would fit easily and I should really do the one chunk mode just just for the just for the lols just see how well I go because yeah you probably have to be a pain to work out the start but once you get a bed you can you know manipulate it quite easily and you just go up and down ladders until you know for a little while and then you get it and oh, I really should do it with somebody I had a couple of people already ask if they wanted to 
uh, do a co-op on it, and I was like, sure, but how good are you at Minecraft? See, all the people that I usually play with, they're not that great at it. There's some people that are quite good at it and intelligent, but they get to a point where they're like, I don't know what to do. I have no clue what I'm doing. And you sit there and you're like, really? You just look in the guidebook or, you know, you want to make this automated or do this or that. And yeah, but some people just, yeah, I guess I'm just being arrogant on it. Pompous ass. Because, yeah, some people, I would love to do a mod pack with a couple of the really good streamers that I watch. I won't say exactly who, because they'll be like, some people will be just straight out like, Oh, are you just a typical mainstream fag, or something like that. No offence to, for, um, you know, homosexuals, it's just, yeah, just saying that, that's what they say. Or they'll just abuse me with something else, call me, you know, fat, ugly, gay, the usual bullshit that people do, and I should stop swearing. But yes, uh, so I need to, I've done that, I don't really need to get that up and running because all I was doing that was to get uh, spider eyes and, um, what do you call it, other bits and pieces, but I don't really need it, like ender comes from these ender fragments, um, yeah, so I grabbed quite a few of them, so I got plenty. Let's see. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I seriously, I'm just trying to rebuild what I had. I think I might. That's what I wanted to do now. Uh, power to the people. Uh, so, I'm generally an easygoing, nice guy. So don't take me wrong if I say some bad stuff. Because to me, it's. Oh, I just realised I haven't got this running. <laughs> to me, just, yeah, um, people are just people and, yeah, you always find the one or two that are just stupid in the easiest terms. And it, I don't let a lot of things get to me. I'm chill. Um, yeah. I thought I turned the immersive engineering pack on. I might have not done the water wheels or I didn't turn it on. So let this run. See, I'm already stuffing up, running around. I know I should have made. Oh, I could use my gun, but oh well. I'm not used to the gun very, so there we go, this will push in 61 a tick. I know I can pump it up to 88, but I'm not too phased. Quickly just going to check out the resource packs. It is in, but the problem is they must have changed the uh, texture pack or something, because I was reading through it that something happened to the water wheel and something else, So and it hasn't been updated since the 1.11.2. Two, I think it is so and since then the mod authors has added a lot of more stuff so I really should post in the board and ask them to update it so yeah okay so um, I need more leadstone before I can proceed so I will have to check to see if I've got glass and leadstone I actually don't have any lead at all so we will make lead so uh, here's lead. So it's clay and fire, of course it's clay. God damn clay. Uh, so that requires sand and plant matter. Uh, and that requires... I only got 17 plant matter. But then again it's 16. So this should do nicely. Hopefully. Hopefully not. It must need the right amount. Okay. Uh, no, there's another. Oh, it's the other way around, and it's in here. So. <coughs> Ah, 
Okay, we got nine out of that, so out of those couple, that's not too bad. Not too bad indeed. So, I need my gun now. Play and I always manage to do that, so this will give us some of them. So this will give us some lead. Uh, hopefully, this will give us quite a bit of lead. <coughs> so I'm sick of making constantly making these things, but we'll be doing this for a while. A lot of the time, you'll be just doing iron, gold, uh, and a few other bits and pieces, but yeah. Hopefully with the new system here, it being nice and quick, we should get quite a bit out of this time. Um, I know I did cook up a heap of them. Changed it out a little bit so it's more of a up and down in one chunk mode. Uh, so it's pretty much compact instead of coming up out then up that way, so it's no biggie. Look at that, 31 lead. We're going to have that much lead, it would be good. It's going to be awesome. We stick on this here for ages because the other one, re other upgrade requires quite a bit of stuff. So yeah, you look at that, it needs six nether, which is not too bad to make, but you've got a dark steel or dark matter, which is dark matter block, and to get this bad boy you need void, tungsten and ludicrite, uh, some powered diamonds, so it, it does take a hefty amount. But hopefully by I get to here I should actually have prismatic shards because you need prismatic shards for um, these things here. I'll eventually get the mystical agriculture pack added too. So you need tier 1 crafting with this thing and to get this thing you need, oh it's prosperity shards, sorry. And the only way to get prosperity shards is in the end, and hopefully I'll be able to jump in the end and out, because I have RF tools. Sorry. RF tools so I can do my matter. Uh, a simple matter receiver. I know these will be difficult to make, but you actually can get into these quite quickly um, once you get, can make your empowered stuff. Because it, yeah, you just break it down, I'll make all this, and then just quickly make one of them. It's actually quite a bit, really. He must have changed some recipes. So, but anyway, we're going to get there. You don't really need to go to the end straight away, but we will get there. And... Why isn't this multiple... Oh, I actually might need glass around that right away. I didn't think of that. Um, I do have glass on me, that's the crusher, so we'll just whack in a stack and separate them. So, and this will spew glass everywhere, so we'll just quickly fill it in. Don't know about you, but... I don't actually like it, uh, so I'll just do this here. Oh! I have a block there. I wonder why I did that for. Don't know. I must have put it in there and forgot it when I was building it. But anyway, we'll just do this. Run back and grab the other one that I need. I was going to use Tinkerer's Glass in it because if you break it, you can pick it up again. That looks like uh, I can't for now. So, and there we go. We'll break this block and this block, and there's the dink. And there we go here. Oh, my bad. And there we go. So I'll eventually break. Well, we'll break this now know eventually to it. So, and it is actually wrapping up point. It has hit the half an hour mark. So, um, as I said, we actually didn't get started in doing the farm because of all the other stuff that we're doing. 
Um, I will record another episode because I really want to push towards um, uh, yeah, push towards the farm because I need wood to make into charcoal, then charcoal into coal, and then coal blocks, and then in over into there so I can make uh, coal coke. Once the coal coke's been done, then I can actually get my crusher. Once I get my crusher, I can get my tinkerer stuff happening. So I will do little to nothing, like usual, between episodes, unless it's farming, but we've passed that. Most of it's automated. So we'll just, yeah, continue on in the next episode. So thank you for watching. Uh, give me a like, uh, subscribe, show your friends, show your family, especially show your mum because, you know, you, your mum's always awesome. If you don't have a mum, I'm probably going to get yelled at this. For the, <laughs> find the closest family member that you actually like. So have fun with that. I'll talk to you later or talk to you later in the next episode. So have fun.